Go. Now you can see the the entire elevation of the seat, and um, it's relatively flat. There's a slight crown in the center, um, which is fine for Victorian pieces. Victorian pieces did typically crown a bit more than than the earlier styles, for example, in Regency or Empire, but. I did not want the piece to crown significantly in the middle, and so I really attempted to make certain that the springs stayed down close to the same level in the middle as they are in the front and the rear. You can imagine the, the challenge that that is because uh, there is no structural anchor points in the center, and so the piece simply wants to, to um, go with gravity and bow upwards. Some mitigating factors were the fact that the, the, there's so much tension on the springs that it stretched the webbing downward. You can see that it actually um, uh, pitched downward. So it, it worked in our favor in that it allowed that spring to drop a little bit. As it flexes, it should be quite comfortable. You can see that now that this front spring is working semi-independently from the middle spring. It's what we wanted to happen. So as someone sits on the front, it doesn't take the whole piece downward. It simply takes that front spring. And that should wear very, very nicely. As a person sits back, the center of gravity comes back and the piece contracts like this. Some people who sit far back on the piece it will the center of gravity will come back on the hips right through here and so it will push at an angle Let's bring this pointer up center of gravity will come down thusly and it will drop down into this trough that's been created by the springs uh, pushing the um, uh, the webbing downward um, you'll be able to see the elevation out here where the spring is omitted and once the once the pod and edge roll goes in you'll actually be able to see how it fills the seat will in fact let me bring a straight straight edge over use a small one short one in order to be able to see it the pod which is filled with um, um, straw linen um, comes over the top of the springs and out to the front edge and drops straight down to the front edge. And so all of this will fill with fiber. And the fiber will be contained in burlap so it doesn't drop down inside the springs. Otherwise the springs would shred everything. And how do you deal with the fact that this has to move? What do you mean? Well, that's the big question because there is a there is a band that's attached along the front edge. It will actually hand stitch to the upper portion of the pod, and it will become clear in the next step when you when you uh, film the next step. There will be a band that stitches along this elevation and rolls out thusly and attaches down to the frame bottom. Every time this piece flexes, and I'm going to walk to the side and just, just watch this, it's going to condense the material. You can see how that band, the space becomes contracted more and more and more. So a way for that stuffing to push it back up into the cavity is going to have to be devised so that it doesn't end up pooching out and buckling between the seat structure and the base. I don't know how that's going to happen at this point. We're going to have to just see how it goes.